In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. And now, let's get right into it. For the boxer, I see it contains the Battle of Mandalore, along with four of the Clone Troopers, which depicted correctly in the show, and the Swamp Speeder and the little turret gun you see in the top right. One thing I do not like about the box art is the giant line on the clone trooper's helmets, which makes us think they're going to have it, but once you unbox them, they actually have the smaller lines. The repeated Captain Vaughn Lego could have made him way better, especially by giving him his iconic visor that you see in the show, making his chest insignia all colorful dots instead of all blue. Now for the normal 332nd troopers, you get two jet troopers and one regular trooper, Unless if you think you have enough of the jet troopers, then swap out the jet packs on the jet troopers and just make them plain old regular troopers. The gripe I have about the clone troopers so far is the new helmet holes that they gave for Commander Cody, but instead gave to all of these new Star Wars clone troopers. Now for the builds, which are pretty cool, for starters you get this three four piece cannon which you can build and make some extra playability features out of if you're a little kid and you got this battle pack this year and now for the swamp speeder it is a nice sleek design made in the colors of the 501st with stud shooters that you can angle up to fire at things at ground level or above in the sky and it also has seats for two clone troopers along along with two clips in the back to act as blaster racks for whoever clone trooper you decide to put into the pilot seats. And that's going to be it for this 332 second battle pack review and so if you enjoyed please hit that like button down below and also subscribe and click here to watch how to make your 332 second troopers even better and comment down below if you'll ever buy this pack in the near future and I'll see you guys next time.